Adolf fucks. I can't make this up. Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Barry of the Great St. Bernard. Barry of the Great St. Bernard is a 1977 wonderful old Disney television release. I am about to butcher so many names, so I'm apologizing right now. It's directed by Frank Zuniga, cinematography by Aitz Klinert, Kliner, Aitz, I don't, I'm just gonna spell it right here for y'all. It's edited by Greg McLaughlin, and it's written by Sheldon Stark and Anne Udell. It's based off a book of the same name by Adolf Fux, spelled with an X. I am not swearing. The film stars Jean-Claude Dauphine, Pierre Tabard, and is narrated by Joe Anson. Jean-Claude Dauphine is best known for the unbearable lightness of being LOL and the second wind. Pierre Tabard is most known for the 1958 version of Les Miserables and Trapeze. This movie takes place in Switzerland and is about a man named Martin who has a very significant bond with a very special rescue St. Bernard named Barry. This movie isn't good, save for the parts where the dogs are actually doing rescuing that's really interesting, like Barry saving that little girl and having the little girl ride on his back was so good, but the rest of it is so not good. It was so boring and just, I did not have a good time watching it. It went on way too long. There was a time where I looked at it and there were 20 minutes of the movie left and I was like, what can they do? in these last 20 minutes because I can't with this movie anymore. And uh, they actually made it 10 times worse. They killed their main character, which was so uncalled for. He had just made a life decision that was gonna keep him with Barry and then he dies and it's so bad. Sorry for the spoiler, but I just didn't like it. That's really all I have to say about this movie because it wasn't good. It wasn't great at all. The dogs were the best part. Gotta love dogs and puppies. So I'm gonna give it two St. Bernards out of 10 because the dogs were so great. Our total movie count is, our parent death toll is. <laughs> Cry count is still the same. If you wanna keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday. Until next time, comment, like, and subscribe, but I'm not in charge of you are, so you do you, and don't be the sergeant about it. He was nasty. I have a little announcement for you guys. I'm moving, so say goodbye to this apartment. Say goodbye to where every Disney movie ever was created and has evolved because it's not going to be like this where I'm going because I'm moving to the Midwest. I am moving back to the Chicagoland area because I love it there and don't like LA that much and just wanna pursue jobs and careers in Chicago. So the next time you see me, which will be Monday, I'm not skipping anything, don't worry, because technically I've already moved, but I haven't moved yet, obviously when I'm filming this, but when you're watching this, I've already moved. Like I moved May 11th, but I'm moving. It's complicated. Time is a construct and I can skip it by filming things in advance. But anyway, next time you see me will be Monday, so it'll be like three days for you, but it'll be weeks for me. So that's fun. But uh, next time you see me, I'll be in a fancy little studio I'm like already planning and creating and it's gonna be great. Hope you guys like it and uh, say goodbye to the first apartment. I love you. Oh my God, not my first apartment, but the first apartment of every Disney movie ever. I've lived quite a few places. Um, Say goodbye to this background. Say goodbye to this environment. And it's the end of an era. <laughs> so, um, see you on Monday in a brand new place. <laughs> Bye!